video, we're going to look at using Venn diagrams in probability. Here is a Venn diagram. S stands for the sample space. So all the probabilities will be somewhere in the sample space and they must equal up to 1. This is event A and this is event B. In the video, we're going to be looking at shading Venn diagrams and seeing what that means in terms of the probabilities of events happening. Later in the video, we will look at something called De Morgan's theorem, which is potentially beyond the scope of S1, but interesting all the same. So let's start off then. The probability of A union B. We read this as A union B. The probability of A union B is the probability of A happening, or the probability of B happening, or them both happening. So when we shave out, all we're looking for is everything in A and everything in B. So we just end up with all of this right here. And we read this as the probability of A union B. That's nice and straightforward. The probability of A intersection B is the probability of both A and B happening at the same time. So that's this part right here. So we read this as A intersection B. So this part right in the middle. The probability of A dashed or the complement of A or not A. This is everything but A. So we need to go round this way and then all through here is perfectly fine. We can do all round here outside of B and then we come back round down the side. And this is called the complement of A or the probability of A not. So it's not in A. The probability of B dashed or the complement of B or not B is going to be everything that isn't in B. So we can't do the intersection. We can't do now B only. So what we have is the following. This is now B dash, the probability of it not being B. Okay. So if the probability of it being B was 0.4, the probability of it not being B is going to be 0.6. The probability of it not being A and it being B. So we say this as a probability of not A into section B. And this is just going to be this point right here. So it is in B, but it's not in A, which means we must leave the middle out. And now we can just simply shave this part. The probability of A dashed and B, or the intersection of A dashed and B. So it's just B, and it must stay in here. The probability of a intersection not B. So this must be in A, but it can't be in B. So the intersection in the middle goes. So this is now telling me it's in A and it's not in B. And that's that point, right, like so. OK. This is now the probability of A dashed union B. So it's telling me it's either not in A or it's in B. I've put three Venn diagrams here. What I'm going to do on the bottom is the following. I'm going to do the probability of A dashed. Then I'm going to have the probability of B. And then I'm going to put the two together. You don't have to. You can go straight at it on one. But if you want to build it up with two, that's perfectly fine. So A dashed, or the complement of A, or even not A, is everything outside of A. So all we're doing on this one is shading up. And we're avoiding anything that's in A. So all of this point right here and like so the probability of b is going to be everything that's inside b which is this point right here so if we've got now the probability of not a union b we need to combine the two and all that's going to leave us is the following we're going to have the intersection so we have the intersection and then we're going to have everything on the outside like so okay and that will give us all of this right here. So this is now the probability of not A or B. OK, so that's done. That's sorted. OK, the next two examples are included for completeness. In terms of S1, it may be slightly beyond the scope, but we can look at it anyway. This is a case of what we call De Morgan's theorem. The probability of not A intersection not B is the same as the probability of A union B not so if you think about what this is saying, it's not in A and it's not in B, or it's not in A or B. So all we're going to get from this is simply now the outside. 
We remember from the first one that A union B was everything. So we've got everything but that as we've got the complement. So it's gonna be everything on the outside. Okay, or you could look at it and say, well, it's not in A and it's not in B, so it must be on the outside. And those two things are the same. Here's another example of De Morgan's theorem. The probability of A intersection B not and the probability of A not union B not. If you can get your head around that. Now, if we look at the following, we know what A intersection B looks like. That's the middle bit. This is telling us that it's not in that part right there. So let's look at it a different way. Let's leave it alone now. And if I did the following, we can see that the probability now of A not and the probability of B not could be formed this way. So we'll look at it like so. I prefer just say what well, is not in the middle, but we'll see how it works this way around. So what we're going to get then, the probability of not A is all of this round here. So it's anything outside of A. So we don't include the intersection. OK. And then what we're going to do is a probability of B not. So that's everything outside B. So that's going to be all of this right here. OK. So if we added these two together now, what we're going to end up with is the following. We're simply going to have everything but the intersection. So we're going to go all through here, we're going to come around here, we're going to come around here, and we're going to have that. And quite clearly, that stacks up with what we've got here of the probability of A intersection B not being the same as the probability of A not union B not. So as stated, those last two examples are potentially beyond the scope of what you'll be asked to do, but interesting all the same. So there we go, basic introduction to Venn diagrams in probability. We'll quickly flick back through the notation. So this is the sample space. All probabilities must be equal to 1. This is event A and this is event B. The union of A and B is either the probability of A or the probability of B or the probability of A and B. This now is A intersection B. So the probability of A intersection B is when they both occur and we just shave the middle. The complement of A is A not. It's not happening. So it's everything outside A. The complement of B is everything outside B. So the probability of B not happening. The probability of A not intersection B is telling me that it's in B only, but not in A. And exactly the same with the probability of A intersection not B. So there we go. There are the basics. We looked at adding these together. And this may be useful for you when you go on to look at certain probabilities. You don't always have to do it, but it can be a good tool to solve problems in probability.